Like its people, Georgian wine once encountered is hard to forget. Earthy, robust, short on finesse, but long on warmth. During the Soviet era, Georgian wines were always on government banquet tables. Communism's fall ended vital Kremlin support, moral and financial, for Georgia's wine industry. Rising production costs have badly cut output. The annual wine festival in Tbilisi ignores the problem. Many Georgians hope the favorite to become their new president will be able to put the wine business right again. Clifford Shevard Nazar knows wineries are a well-developed industry that could promote an economic recovery. In the vineyard, modernization remains a dream. Recent annual harvests have been poor. Grape pickers must often work for little or no pay. But this year's harvest was twice as big as last year's. And if foreign wineries can be induced to invest in Georgia's sun-drenched vines, production could start to rebound. Meanwhile, native son Joseph Stalin's private reserves are gradually being sold by one impoverished winery. Stalin was always given the finest, or else. <laughs>